Hello and welcome back. Uh, back up at the storage and what do you know, as always it's raining. Come up to do a small job. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not allowed to do it. Uh, Angela's doing it and I'll probably just be supervising. Um, what we're going to do is the kitchen area at the back here. Uh, I saw a video a while ago. The caravan had is stuck some uh, tile like, stickers that look like tiles in the back of it. And when we saw them the other week, Angela really liked it and she wanted to get some. So we've got some of these uh, brown square, like mosaic stickers, tile stickers. We got them from Amazon and they were £9 for 24 of these stickers, which measure, so let me read, uh, six inches by six inches. Uh, and we're going to stick those on. We've got the colour that matches the van, the kind of brownish colour. I just thought it would uh, look a little bit better in the kitchen area, just define that area as a kitchen. Um, so we're going to have a go at doing that. Well, Angela is, I, like I say, she thinks I'll make a mess of it, so uh, I'm not allowed to do it. So what we're going to do, first of all, is remove the blind. So we'll take that blind off and then uh, we'll get sticking. So in order to get the, um, the blind off, we just take these caps off. I know you can hear me, there's a van outside, it's quite noisy. Set these caps off each side, they just clip off quite easily. Because what we're going to do is to obviously tile around that and there's just uh, a Phillips screwdriver screwdriver in each corner that you just undo and that releases the blind. So that's a blind loose and we'll take that off, just put that down to one side. Just try and keep the screws safe and we don't lose those. So if anyone wanted to see our window stuck in, it's just stuck in with these clips all the way around the edge uh, and that just um, pushes the window or pulls the window in. Um, you can see the foam in there and the, uh, uh, the Alutex sides there. Also, we can check whether it's dry as well, which is absolutely bone dry, which is good. Um, so we're going to obviously tile up to here. There are uh, 24 tiles in, but like I said, it's it's not a big area because the window takes up quite a lot of the area. Um, in terms of where we're going to start, I think we're going to um, start at this end uh, towards the sink and work across because it, it doesn't really matter about, you know, normally when you're tiling, you'd start in the middle. Um, and work your way out, but I, I really don't think it matters with these, so we'll just start from, from that edge and uh, see how we get on. So uh, this is the job so far, and Angela's uh, started doing this, and she's got this far, I think it looks, <laughs> I think it looks okay. Um, are they going on all right? Not the easiest. She says they're not the easiest to go on, but um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like when you finish. We'll, uh, I'll sit down and have a brew while uh, Angela carries on. So that's another job done, that tiling done there behind me. I think that looks absolutely fantastic now. A lot better, it actually defines the kitchen area. Uh, there was enough stickers there, we've got about uh, about five left over um, and it's, it's done the job really well. Quite easy to stick on. One thing I do know is that uh, obviously the van's 10 years old and uh, things aren't as straight as what they used to be or maybe it wasn't as straight when it came out of the factory, I don't know. But uh, yeah, Angela's done an absolutely cracking job on that and I think it looks really good. I'll put a link down below of where we got the tiles from and you, you know, if you want to order some, you can do. Thanks for watching, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.